RC Foam Fighters. Today I'm doing another cool tool review on a tool that's good for using for scratch building RC planes out of foam. Um, this tool is called the Styro Wonder Cutter. Um, basically it is a battery powered handheld hot wire tool. Um, you may have seen me use it already on one of the build along videos. Um, today we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at it. Um, basically these are the parts that come with it when you buy it. Um, it's a fairly inexpensive um, hot wire. I've seen it at any price anywhere from $7 on up to $12 or $13. Um, I got this one while I was on vacation in California at Michael's. They had it on sale. It was $6.99. Um, it comes with everything except for the batteries. You would need to get two D-cell batteries. Um, basically the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, connect the hot wire piece because it doesn't come on there. Um, there is a loop on the cap that you just slip the wire through, loop it around and twist it around itself. Um, string the wire up over the top of the bar. Um, you want to squeeze the bar a little bit to put some tension on it while you're wrapping it. And once you have it wrapped around, you can let go of the bar and it should put some tension on the wire to make it nice and tight so you get straight cuts. Um, once you have the wire in place, basically all you need to do is take the two batteries, insert them, and then next goes in the spring. And you just screw the cap on over the spring. And we're all put together now. And just to turn it on, all you need to do is flip the switch over so that it makes contact with the back cap. And basically it just completes the circuit and shorts it out. And the power will run from the batteries through the wire and back around. Um, once you have the switch on, the wire is going to get hot and you can go ahead and start making your cuts. Um, you want to make sure to disconnect it when you're done. Just move it up. Um, on this model, you have to be careful though because if you lay it down wrong, you can accidentally bump the switch and make it short out against the cap or if you lay it on top of a piece of metal or something um, it can short out also and the wire will get hot. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn the video off and I'm going to position the foam so that I can go ahead and do an example and show you how this actually works. Okay we're going to go ahead and use the handheld hot wire to bevel the trailing edge on this wing. So all we have to do is flip the switch to the on position, and now the wire is hot. And we're going to go ahead and uh, make our cut. Basically, you just take your time and go at a nice, steady, even pace. Um, I like to try and use the edge of the table to help guide it so I can get a nice straight cut. Okay, and once you've cut through, go ahead and turn it off by breaking the contact and flipping the switch to the side. Um, then go ahead and set it down somewhere, but be careful not to set it onto the switch because you could accidentally bump it back onto the on position. And once you've got it cut, just peel the foam off. And it needs a pretty clean cut. Um, there may be a couple little furs of foam on there. Um, they usually just come off pretty easily. You can just get to rub them off and they'll fall right off of there. Alright, one quick note before I give this tool a rating. Um, Floracraft makes two versions of this handheld hot wire. Um, the one we just reviewed 
and they also make a plastic version of the same one. Um, I had this model first and I dropped it one time and the metal cap broke right out of the front of it. Um, I wasn't too happy also with the way the switch worked on it. It has a switch more like a flashlight um, and I was having problems with it making contact all the time. Uh, the older version is much more reliable and the switch works much better. Um, you can always tell when it's on and when it's off. Um, if you're thinking about getting one of these, this is definitely the one to get. Um, I would give this one a five star rating just because of the inexpensive cost of it and its reliability and ease of use. Um, they still carry these in most of the Michaels that I've been in. Uh, the normal price is usually around $12 or $13. Um, you can catch them on sale sometimes as low as $7. If you can't find one at Michaels, um, I would suggest taking a look at one of the other local craft shops. Um, sometimes they carry them as well. Um, and if you're having trouble finding them, uh, we do have a link on our blog. Um, you can get them through Amazon. And sometimes they have them on sale. I've seen them as low as uh, $9. Thanks for watching RC Foam Fighters and uh, we'll be putting out more videos here real soon. Bye.